Hey y'all, uh, I was just working on this Pen4500 SSV and I thought I should make a video of what too much grease really looks like. Uh, so you can see that stuff. I don't know how bad it looks on camera, but it's it's pretty bad in there. I did take this out already. And that's when I stopped and said I should take a video of this. So that entire block right there is all grease. And it's supposed to, there's supposed to be a space there somewhere. And you can see that as well. Essentially what all this grease is doing is creating a sort of a vacuum for, for the reel. So you crank it, it doesn't really go anywhere because this grease is just kind of going <laughs> sucking it back uh, into position or just like sucking it from going forward so then we'll, uh, I'm gonna come back and show you this all cleaned out so you can s compare where the grease was as if let's say the water receded from a river you can see the mark <laughs> all right so I'll see you guys in a bit all been cleaned up and <laughs> if you remember there's a big gap or a big wad of grease there trees saw by the amount of q-tips or cotton swabs I was using to get this stuff out so here's the before and here's the after so a stark difference in the amount of grease that was in there or obviously too much grease in there so how do we grease this um, fairly or semi optimally uh, I'm gonna put the um, the anti reverse back in and then I'm gonna show you what I would consider an optimal optimal amount of grease that's uh, going inside here on the gears and uh, everything else in here Okay, so this, these reels have a seal around them that uh, helps protect the water from going inside. Uh, but let's say you're fishing a lot in salt water or in the, uh, on, on the beach or wading in the water. And there's a possibility you might dunk your reel. You can certainly grease inside here. The entire casing with a light amount of grease. And really as much as you see me putting on here is really all you need. Uh, if you're like a kayak fisherman uh, those kinds of things where you might actually uh, encounter dunking the reel or something or just getting a lot of splash on it so just like that that's pretty much all you need to help protect the inside of it and if you want to just fishing off the boat um, you really don't need this stuff again there's a seal on this reel so it's not necessary um, necessarily uh, needed sounds like a double negative somehow uh, in any event but you you can certainly do it it doesn't take a lot of time and it you're not putting too much on there where it's affecting the reel all right so how do we grease these gears up let's do the pinion first since I got to put that back in I actually like to grease the entire pinion uh, but for the amount of grease that you need to put on this that's it almost the same thing essentially as what you're doing inside the housing there I'm not doing a whole lot to this stuff certainly not and nowhere near as much as a uh, pen may put on there uh, when you first buy the reel or uh, 
if you take it to a taco shop and they just plug grease in there or something. I'm not saying all taco shops do this. I'm just simply saying that uh, some might. Uh, so if you take a reel of someone and have them service it for you, a good way to tell what they did, um, or a clue to tell what they did, is to just open the side housing up, the side case here. And if you saw what I saw, uh, or when I first started this video, then that's pretty much all they did, whoever it was, whether it was you, um, a tackle shop, a uh, real repair guy, whoever you took it to, then that's pretty much all they did. They just opened this up, squeezed some grease in there to fill in more gaps, because obviously you can't damage a reel with too much grease, unless you just leave it sitting over time. But there's not a lot of damage that can happen if you put too much grease inside of a reel. All that happens is it just gets super, super sluggish and it feels like the reels aren't working or functioning properly. But they didn't do a whole lot of work to do that. That's that's the bottom line. You know, that literally takes five minutes to do it. You open it up, squeeze grease in there, close it back up, and here you go. You know, it's not like I'm knocking um, repair guys, but I repair reels. So... <laughs> I'm not knocking all of them. <laughs> Anyhow. Alright, so that's that for the pinion. I'm going to stick the uh, the uh, anti reverse back in. This was a little bit dirty. I cleaned that up. Uh, and that's not the purpose of this video. So I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to come back and show you the rest of the uh, gears and stuff. Alright, so now we get to the cross wine. I should put a little bit too much grease on that. Um, one thing I, I want to grease well is that pin right there uh, and also the obviously the gears but for the gears it's or the teeth excuse me it's not a lot of grease on there just a light amount like that that top part was a bit much but you do also want to grease the bottom here <clears throat> and inside that hole I'm going to grease around here and drop that in Now you can go lighter on the grease on that, on that, that cross line there. Uh, that's not excessive or too bad, it's just, or it might be a little bit too much. So with the cross line, I, uh, on this particular reel, I need to put a little bit more than normal uh, grease inside that well right there. But for the rest of it, it's just a light amount. And you do like to, or you do want to grease the entire block, not just the uh, underside. And I'll try to stick some grease in there, in that hole where the, uh, the shaft sits. And the last thing we have is the gear, the main gear. Same principle as the crosswind block. Not putting a lot of grease on there. But I am greasing all um, all of the surface area on the gear. Then just grease inside there, all around there, at this point where the cross where the crosswind meets. And 
and that's basically it. Let me put the red inside, we're going to do the back of it. I'll do it now so you can see it. And as you can see, it's a real light amount, so it's hard to see even the grease is on there, but it's there. So I'm going to take that out and actually do like another before and after shot in terms of uh, how it looked before and how it essentially should look. So we'll do it like that. So here's the before shot again of how it looked inside. And here's the after, after shot of how it should look with the proper amount of grease in there. Alright guys, I hope that helps some of y'all out there. Uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe to the channel button, that thumbs up, or the like button. I don't know what you see on there. I see a thumbs up, I see a like sometimes. I'm not sure. Anyhow, uh, be sure to tell your friends about the channel. Alright, thanks for watching again, and I will see you next time.